Hello everybody. It's time for more swatching. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, so we got our supplies, some cheap uh, paint brushes, probably made for watercolor. It's certainly why I bought it. Um, random hairs. Those aren't required. A dip nib. And my glass pen. Here we go. Um, I didn't swatch this when I got it, so I'm going to swatch it now. This is Pannonia Abigail. It's like, how do I do these? Every time I need to remind myself. Slightly more ink just to do the accent aigu. I don't know what it's the acute accent, I believe. <laughs> I learned the name for it when I took French in high school, which was just a couple days ago, really. Who says it wasn't? Let's try and no. Yes. Please tell me I got the double ends in the right place. I did! Hooray! Um, I got it. Okay. We got... I, I have a little rag here to clean with and got to turn it around. Okay. I'm leaving the water jugs on the screen so you can see they are totally water jugs. Well, okay, one is was in its previous life was a jar that had cherries that Trader Joe's no longer sells because they hate me personally. And the other is a Bon Maman jar. Probably it had blueberry preserves because that's what I put on pancakes and French toast and waffles. And then, I suppose next we'll do Ice Rink by Birmingham Pens. I was going to do them by, like, Maker, so, yeah, that'll still work. Forget how you're supposed to write fancy eyes. Um, probably not like that. In case you're looking at this and thinking it's going to be a beautiful midnight blue, it won't be. I use this dip pen because it's beautiful, not because it in any way tells me what color the ink will be. <laughs> I actually was like gonna not use it anymore after I got the glass pen, but it just is kind of like what I do now, so it's stuck. I'm just going to write Birmingham. Hmm. 
Hmm. This water looks a bit like phthalo blue. Wow, what a surprise. Oh, Maria, how many times are you going to buy the same color in a different saturation? At least this time. How could I say no? I mean, easily, you just say, no, Maria, you don't need that. It's easy for you to say. I just got water all over my hands. How, where did you just come from? I just I put water on the table. Everything is fine. So that was ice rink. Next up, this one, which is Galactic Twinkle. That was my entire reason for placing this order. Because I saw it, I don't know if it was on their website and it was sold out and I was just like, man, I want this ink. Honestly, I think it's kind of a lot like Cat by Colorverse, so I should probably like pull out my card so we can compare but I don't regret it because cat comes in a small bottle um Mm-hmm. Ooh, close call, but I made it. Man, no, no descenders. I left room for them. I mean, I didn't really, obviously, I didn't need to, but... All right. This feels really saturated. I suppose that makes sense. Or maybe I mean lubricated. You know what I'm really pleased about? Tell us, Maria. Um, these two inks are not the same color with just twinkle added, as far as I can tell. Um, and by these two, I mean Ice Rink and Galactic Twinkle. This reminds me, actually, quite a bit of Tsukiyo uh, by Hiroshizuku. Um, I'm probably one day going to buy that bottle of ink. I love their inks. They're so well behaved. Oh, they're so beautiful. Stay there. Okay. Moving on. We have this one, which is Cranberry Twinkle. This kind of looked like maybe it was the same color as boysenberry, but like, you know, with twinkle. I'm not sure, though. This has descenders. I didn't do that well. Do you see what I mean though about it? It's like, it's just, this stuff is just like 
falling off the nib. So it could be something with this nib too, you know. Maybe I did something weird to it. Oh, did you hear that timer? That's the timer for my wine. Gotta hurry. Uh, and I realize you might be saying like, why do you have a timer for your wine? Well, now, wouldn't you like to know? Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, because with red wine, they say like, put it in the fridge 30 minutes before you need it. Well, not need it. Look, get off my back, okay? A little bit juicy at the top. Mm -hmm. I put down pretty big puddles. I might have to go rinse this water. It's becoming like so saturated. And the um Yeah. So that is Cranberry. Oh, I didn't write Twinkle. Maria. <sighs> Shut up. That's what I say to you, Maria. Shut up. She listened. Okay. Now... I'm I just wash my hands. Um, let's pause, and we're gonna look at. I think this one next. So this is Vinta, violets are blue. Shimmer. Not like violets are blue is a long name that I somehow have to fit on here. Maria. At any minute, I could change how I do this. At any minute, but I don't. Holy cow. Holy cow, I am dying with amazing, amazingness. Yeah, this ink does not want to stick to this. That's okay. This is from some kind of like love thing. I would have thought violets are violet for the record. I never understood that about the little poem. But here we are. I don't like that right there, that blob, but we're getting over it. Because we must. Because even though I thought about it, I didn't grab the paper towel. Oops.
uh, y'all, don't, don't even talk to me about that right now, okay? You can leave, you can leave a comment about it, though. It's fine. It's fine, because you know what? Then it's just gonna look like someone cried on it. And violets are blue, because they cry all the time, apparently. I, I, I don't know where that came from. Tell you where it's going. This was our unintentional water resistance testing. It's not water resistant. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, then we have another shimmer ink. I mean, honestly, I really, I should have left. Oh, can I just like, sh yeah, I just need to like have this on my desk and just like play with it. We have to crack that. Does that feel like really exciting? This is Dawn. I read a book named that. Pretty sure it was named that. Ostensibly by V.C. Andrews, but fairly certain it was one of the ones written by her estate or, you know, whomever it is that writes those. When the company name is longer than the ink name? Mm-hmm. we're in right now. I suspect this is an ink like only for my VAC 700 or maybe my Diamond 580. Something that has like a super juicy, well flowing nib. Oh my god, Galactic Twinkle is like just killing me right now with how beautiful it is. I feel like you can just tell looking at this ink that it's more watery, less viscous. Dawn. Now that one's sitting on my sewing machine, which seems like a totally place safe. A place safe? Safe place? <sighs> Look, I haven't eaten yet, okay? And by that I mean at all today. And I hiked four miles at lunch. Okay, so spoonerisms are expected, enjoyed, allowed, right? Right. Having grace for myself. Oh my gosh.
come on. Swashing shimmer inks is somewhat tedious, not gonna lie. They make up for it by looking good. Okay, two more. There's a production experience. What do we have in here? Oh, amethyst. De l'ural, le violet profond de la pierre d'amethyst et satiné d'une brume d'argent afin d'obtenir une robe d'écriture de noble allure. I have no clue what I just said. So, but I said it in French. Oh, solid dark purple in the velvety hue of amethyst with the satin finish of a silver mist for a lustrous shimmering effect and a noble allure. Sounded better in French, right? By the way, apologies to anybody who actually speaks French. That probably hurt your ears. Or your head. Maybe both. Accent aigu. That is an accent aigu for the record because this is French. So I learned one thing that was useful. They've been making inks forever, Jacques Herbon. I mean, not forever, but since 1798, which is basically forever as compared to my life. I just m miswrote. I typoed in handwriting. I fixed it though, mostly. Don't worry, it's fine. Only you and I will know. You and I, and I don't even know who that is because there's approximately a bajillion of you now. That's not true, but I am, like, really close to having 100 subscribers, which is crazy because I just started making videos, like, for myself. If you're here enjoying them, I'm happy. And if you're not enjoying them, that's okay. There's other stuff on here you will like. Oh, that purple shimmer is beautiful. The toughest thing about this swatching is after this, I have to pick one of these inks to put into a pen. How do you do that?
Last up, Kyanite du Nipple. I don't like to shake it so robustly. I don't know what I was thinking. It was like, had a hand, had a hand of its own. My, my. Yep. Yep. We're leaving it, friends. That's just, that's what, that's what you just said. Another excellent eggy. Egg goes up and grave go points down. Look, I'm remembering things from the nineties. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. Not gonna, you know. Also, I remembered how to write a B that time. You know, whew, I still know my letters. Talk about remembering stuff from the 90s. That's from the freaking 80s. Yeah, maybe. I don't probably didn't learn them in the 70s. Okay. I should ask my mom. I think I could read by four. That's the 80s. Come over here. Get out of the way. Try an ink swatch. I'm driving over here, lady. Okay. So the thing about Jacques Herbon inks is that their shimmer can be more subtle in my experience, but also their inks perform magnificently. Just, yeah. So, let us Recap, so we've got, let's look at them in the, roughly the order we swatched so they're dry. I'm gonna put this a little bit out of the way. Okay, so we've got, see, I was secretly doing this, Peronia Abigail, and here it is on Tomoe, Tomoe, probably it's better, but Tomoe River paper, I think this is 50 something, whatever it is, is it 52, 58? It's thin. Um, here we have Birmingham Pins Ice Rink. And you can see, uh, this is a beautiful blue. Kind of a thalo with some red sheen. So, wondering how close it is to my blues. I thought it would be the closest to mommy blue but like darker yeah I think so if we have here's Lame blue on Tamoy River it is a bit like that and then if we look at color versus cat a bit like that maybe it's closest to Glamorous Peacock. And it looks like in really heavy spots on Tamoy River, it has some pretty high sheen. 
but I suspect it won't show up that much in the writing because it's only the very, very heavy applications it has to sheen. Next up, Galactic Twinkle, which is still drying, but you can see that it's this blue. It's very similar, but not quite um, sort of a phthalo or Prussian blue with a red sheen or pink, maybe. Maybe that's more, yeah, it's more of a pink sheen and a teal shimmer. So, let me just freaking spill everything. I thought it could be like. So here it is next to Cenote. Similar, but Cenote is darker. Glamorous Peacock. Similar, but I think this is Galactic Twinkle Lighter. And Cat is probably the closest, but Cat is more of a true blue and Galactic Twinkle strikes me as a little bit more teal. And I like blue enough that that continuum isn't, is enough to be totally different for me. Um, <laughs> like if you came at me with like three different oranges, I'd probably say, yeah, they're orange. You came up to me with five different blues, I would spot differences. <laughs> So here's the Galactic Twinkle. It's just gorgeous. And interestingly, next up, Cranberry Twinkle. You just don't even see the, the ink there, but it's all shimmer. And that's fairly true on this swatch card too. Although I think if I hold it at certain angles, you do see more of the ink color. It's a lovely color of ink. I think it reminds me of writer's blood. Well, it does, but I don't know if that's justified. Mm, a little, but it's purpler. Maybe more like, no. So, if you wanna see the comparison. Not exactly. Then we had Violets Are Blue, which is gorgeous. It's a light blue. It's kind of like Milky Ocean, but with a pinky shimmer. If you don't have Milky Ocean, for the record, it is quite similar to, I think it's Nadeshiko. Yeah. So here's Nadeshiko, which is Sailor Manu Nadeshiko. And here's the Venta Violets are Blue. So this Nadeshiko is a little bit more purple, but maybe that comparison helps someone. Um, next up we have Dawn. Gosh, this is gorgeous. So pretty, so pretty. Um, and this one is, I think there's two comparisons that we will make. One is to Sailor Manyo Neko Yonagi, excuse me, Neko Yanagi. And to, now ha has two blue. They're somewhat similar. This is bluer for sure, more of like a periwinkle I would say, and this is definitely a light purple. The other one that everyone will want to know is, of course, how does it compare to Sunset? <laughs> I think if you have one, you don't need the other. Unless, like, purple is your baby, right? Like I am with blue inks. You might be that way with purples. Um, this is a bluer purple. This is a pinker purple. So they are different, and to me it's pretty obvious looking at them, but I would be happy to have only one in my collection. And that's actually why I went with Dawn, because what I really also wanted was Dusk. Of the two, this was the one 
that captured me because it was a little bit darker and I thought therefore it'd be easier to read. Um, this, oh my God, it's so beautiful. <sighs> the, this one, it makes me so happy. Does it, off the top of my head, I'm going to tell you what it reminds me of is Earl Grey, <laughs> which is like one of my toppings. And yeah, a little, but not quite, right? Like Earl Grey is warmer. This is cooler. So do we have another one that compares? Not really. I see some similar colors between this and California Raisin, especially up in this corner here, but they're very different. So I don't have anything like this and I'm chuffed. Chuffed to bits, which is appropriate, right? Because it's a British ink. Um, and here, look at, ugh, look at it. Ugh. Kiss it if I could. Okay, then we have hashtag Amanda made me do it. Uh, Jacques Herbon, Amethyst de Laurel. It's beautiful. It's such a good purple. It's a bit warm as purples go. Although, interestingly, it shows as warmer on this card than it does on the Tomoe River. And on the Tomoe River, you get this sheen here that is, I'm going to I'm sure people describe it as like gold or green, but to me, it's like a yellow ochre. <laughs> Maybe bronze, you know, very like yellowy, I don't know, or or a sheen that maybe looks a bit like alt gold green. So, compared to my purples, I don't, I mean, I feel like I'm light on purples, but I'm trying to grow them. But I need to stop. I have enough ink. Maybe it's closest to Pillars of Creation in color. But it stands on its own. And then this guy, Jacques Herbon, Kyanite du Nepal. It's, it's so beautiful. It's such a lovely shade of blue with teal sparkle and actually ooh, ooh, on this paper in the very heavy areas it has some red sheen so here's this page that we'll look at let's see what color this one kind of looks like Michigan to me not the state yeah look at that so you think you like Sailor Michigan? This just like plus, plus it. You know what I mean? This is like Michigan plus plus for my programming friends out there, all, all of you. So let's look at the blues that I got. I feel like we have a really fun, progression here of blues that are, look at them. They're so distinct from one another. And if we look at like the purple, purpley colors, they're all distinct. And they're distinct from stuff I owned. I put a lot of thought into these. And Abigail definitely stands alone. So here is my swatching today. Sorry this video is so long. I hope that the... Um, comparisons I made were helpful. I don't have a ton of inks. I'm glad to make more comparisons if requested, but you know, we'll see. And uh, go ahead and make a guess which of these inks is the first to go into my new um, transparent blue Twisby. I will say I do tend to prefer sort of matching. Um, I don't as yet have any plans. I'm not saying you should guess and I know the answer. Like, I, I would just tell you if I knew. So, the chances are strong that it will be one of these four here. 
But make a guess. I'll let you know if you're right. I'll put it in a comment or something. Uh, anyway, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I gotta go drink my wine now because it's ready. <laughs> Bye!